Hello everyone. Welcome you all to Imagination Gallery. Here we try to show you different types of drawings and stories behind it. So if you are an art lover and wants to know the unknown facts, press the subscribe button now. Now let me introduce you to today's topic. Today in our Africa series, we will experience the Samburu village scene and uncover the Samburu tribal lifestyle from Northern Kenya, Africa. So stay with us till the end and do not miss your chance to convene all the excitement to spend your weekend. It can never be without Africa and our Africa series. In our previous Africa series paintings, we have been talking about different aspects of Africa, its people, life, design, colors and many others. Today we will talk about Samburu tribe of Kenya and their village life. Here I have taken A3 book and watercolors. Also use brush paints to highlight the key areas. And here we can see some mud huts out there, few men are discussing over a topic under a tree simple yet very interesting with two layers of watercolors and few brush pen strokes I have tried to show this simple African Samburu village life story the Samburus are a Nilotic people from north central Kenya and they are semi-nomadic pastoralists who herd many cattle but also keep sheep, goats and camels. The name they use for themselves is Lokop or Loikop. Woto is a location which Samburu consider to be their homeland and Oto means north in Samburu. The Samburu are a gerontocracy the power of elders is linked to the belief in their curse, underpinning their monopoly over arranging marriages and taking on further wives. In Samburu, men wear a cloth which is often pink or black and is wrapped around their waist in a manner similar to a Scottish kilt. They adorn themselves with necklaces, bracelets, anklets and like other sub-tribes of the Maasai community. Members of the Moron age grade, so which means like warriors, typically wear their hair, hair with long braids which they shave off when they become elders. And so, uh, can you connect now with my painting that few men are discussing over a topic I said and there you can see some men are wearing braids and some men are not having braids. So they are typically like few younger moron age grade boys are conversing with few older men. of 5 or 10 families. Traditionally, men look after the cattle and they are also responsible for the safety of the tribe. As in warriors, they defend the tribe from attack by both people and the animals. They also go on riding parties to try and take cattle from rival Samburu clans. Samburu boys learn to tend cattle from a young age and are also taught to hunt. And Samburu women are in charge of gathering roots, vegetables, tending to children, collecting water, etc. They are responsible for maintaining their homes. And Samburu girls generally help their mother with their domestic chores. said Samburu live in groups of 10 to 5 to 10 families and they have 
huts built from mud, hide and grass. Surrounding the huts is an enclosure made from thorns, designed to keep their livestock in and wild animals out. Every 5 to 6 weeks, they move to new grazing grounds.
I hope that you like today's African safari to Samburu village. Let us know about your thoughts in the comment section. We will keep discovering new art forms of new places and unknown facts. So if you like our drawing sessions and you want to know about different art forms from different places and unknown facts about them, subscribe our channel. We wish you a sensational weekend. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Take care.